She was a toll collector. She liked the job. In that little box, people talked to her. Kids weren't afraid. Men even smiled at her. And this made the woman happy. She worked nights, so there were never any people on the streets when her shift was over. She planned it this way precisely. Always the last to leave. Always alone. Some would say she was a monster, others just really different. She dreamed of being a beautiful dancer, a ballerina, but with such a figure, she knew she would only get laughed at. The woman lived alone. She gave up any hope of love or companionship a long time ago. She built herself a house on a hill, and here is where she spent her days. She would practice her dancing steps in her tutu and pretend she was a prima ballerina. They wouldn't sell her point shoes because she wasn't classically trained, so she made her own. Sometimes she would dance through the days. Sometimes she didn't know what to do with herself, but this was the only way for her, and she called her life happy. I have what I need, and that is enough, she thought. You know, a heart can live with loneliness, but it never gets used to it. The days grew longer for the woman alone in her house. She became restless. Maybe I need a hobby, she thought. So she took up knitting. She knew it was for old ladies, but she didn't care. First she knitted a blanket for herself, and then one for the floor, like a rug. Then she made a cover for her tea kettle and four for the walls, and one for her mirror, and socks and hats galore. The woman knitted through the days, thinking it would settle her mind and her loneliness. But that sad feeling in her heart only grew, as did all those knitted things. She didn't know if there was lack of excitement, or if she was losing it, but she began to see things. She was thinking how to knit a cover for the tree when she noticed something moving. She watched as each child fell. One by one they left the tree, continuing on their way. It was a natural progression, changing in hopes to become something greater. But there was one who did not move, one who was stilled by fear. Why is this little one so afraid, thought the woman, and she went to help it.
It was then that the woman finally understood her sadness, and she knew something had to change. She became someone else that night, there standing in the dark. Hope filled her heart, and she believed she could have more. She left her little house that night, left all her knitted coverings in place, and only took one suitcase with her ballet shoes inside. Of course she was afraid as she left her home, but she promised herself that night to never again be so alone.